Hello, Sussex Squad fam. Welcome back to Royal Telly. Kenneth here, bringing you another dose of Sussex magic. Today, we're celebrating a heartwarming occasion. Mother's Day with the incredible Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Buckle up, because we're taking a trip to bustling Nigeria, where the Sussexes embarked on a whirlwind adventure. But guess what? Mother's Day fell right in the middle of their visit. So, how did these trend-setting royals celebrate such a special day? Let's find out. We all know Meghan Markle is a queen of thoughtful gestures, and this Mother's Day was no different. During a reception for military families in Abuja on May 11th, Meghan sported a piece of jewellery that tugged at everyone's heartstrings, a delicate diamond cross necklace that once belonged to the late Princess Diana. Now, this wasn't just any necklace, it was a recent heartfelt gift from her loving husband, Prince Harry. This beautiful gesture spoke volumes. Meghan, always the style icon, paid a touching tribute to Diana's memory and kept her close on this significant day. But this isn't the first time Meghan has incorporated Diana's iconic style into her own. She's known to have several pieces that belong to the people's princess, like those stunning butterfly earrings and the breathtaking aquamarine ring. It's a truly heartwarming way for Meghan to connect with Harry's family history and show respect for the woman who tragically left a void in his life. Remember that stunning engagement ring Meghan wears proudly? Prince Harry himself designed it, and guess what? It features two diamonds from his mother's personal collection. Talk about a romantic and incredibly meaningful way to propose. On that special Mother's Day in Abuja, Meghan paired the sentimental cross necklace with a chic white strapless dress, allowing the beautiful piece to be the star of the show. It was a powerful statement that resonated with everyone present. The reception itself was filled with warmth and appreciation. An official even acknowledged Meghan's Nigerian heritage in his address, adding a personal touch that made the whole experience even more special. Mother's Day wasn't just about Meghan honouring Diana. Prince Harry, the ever-supportive husband, also played a part. While details are scarce, we can only imagine the sweet moments they shared as a family. Perhaps video calls with Archie and Lilibet back home filled their hearts with warmth. Being a mom, even a royal mom, comes with its challenges. Here at Royal Telly, we celebrate Meghan's strength and dedication to her children. Now, imagine celebrating Mother's Day in a country as vibrant and culturally rich as Nigeria. We can only assume Meghan had the opportunity to experience some of the beautiful traditions there. Perhaps she received a special Mother's Day greeting or gift that incorporated local customs. Let's take a moment to explore some of the unique ways Nigerians celebrate mothers. Beyond the official events, it's also interesting to speculate on how Meghan might have celebrated privately with Harry. Perhaps they enjoyed a quiet breakfast together, reminiscing about their own mothers. Maybe they even baked a special treat for the kids back home, virtually of course. The possibilities are endless, but one thing's for sure. Even amidst a busy tour, they found a way to make Mother's Day special for themselves and their family. So, Sussex Squad, are you impressed with how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with making Mother's Day truly special? Did Meghan's tribute to Princess Diana warm your heart? Share your thoughts and ideas about how they might have celebrated in the comments below. Thank you all for joining us on Royal Telly today. If you enjoyed this look into the Sussex's heartwarming tribute, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update on your favorite royal couple. Thanks for watching, everyone.